All right, what's up, Paul Squad? Welcome back. So it's now time for my last Blank Boy reaction, and this is gonna be nostalgic for me because man, man, oh man, I freaking love Spider-Man 2 so much. So this is when Spider-Man and Doc Ock ran the fade all across New York, featuring Courtney Super. So yes, this is a recap of Spider-Man 2 of Spider-Man fighting Doc Ock um, during the bank scene and the train scene, one of the most iconic fights in a any superhero movie ever. Like, damn, man. The effects of these, um, to this movie still holds up to this day. I believe I got Oscar wins for his, um, a special effects, I believe. And rightfully so, man, because, oh, man, that train scene was freaking iconic, man. So, Hot Squad, what we're gonna do? It's not for nostalgic moments, right? So, yes, Hot Squad, it's time to watch Blatant Boy's Spider-Man 2 recap of Spider-Man fighting Doc Ock. So, Hot Squad, what we're gonna do? Let's check this out. It's about to go down. And now, our feature presentation. So to kick it off, Peter is shown struggling at this bank trying to get this loan to go through with his aunt. Broken dodge bullets, lift up cars, fuck bad bitches, but can't get his bands up. It's a sad case. Listen, y'all are broke. My Uncle Ben got clapped on the sidewalk. This is his trust fund. There should be money in it. Your uncle had $1.16 in his trust fund. My husband was a bag chaser. How you think all the crackheads in NYC got their shit? His fund having one dollar is impossible. And sixteen cents. You could tell how disappointed and stressed Peter is. He know MJ not gonna fuck with him no more after he got a take on a date to get Costco free samples. While Peter and his aunt May are getting stiff armed by the bank and they won't let them take out this loan, Doc Ock is directly behind them trying to hit a lick. Man, what type of unlucky shit? Shit is this thousands of banks in new york city and he chose the one that got spider-man in it he breaks the vault door off and chucks that shit throwing a full court pass luckily peter is able to kick aunt may out the way to save her life but then he <laughs> gets up and hits the dash just dips out like my father look at the look on aunt may's face she's devastated in her mind her nephew just left her to die <laughs> how old are you lady like 90 it was your time anyways <laughs> now one thing we know about superhero movies is they always have specific tropes the mm -hmm. funny best friend side character yep. the dead parents slash yep. parent the sexy ass crush yep. well the dark knight failed on that last one to this <laughs> day i don't understand like was all the bad Honestly, bitches just busy that day they casted rachel batman way better than me bruce hurry rachel's gonna die <laughs> oh damn i was shot when i saw this well, another one of those tropes is the cops that always pull up on the villain, but never have any effect. Nope. Doc Ock refuses to be stopped. He needs this bread so he that he can buy some Christian Dior. <laughs> Look at what he got on. He tired of wearing those Payless fits. That. Doc Ock stares at them and he's like, Is this nigga serious? <laughs> He grabs them and just chucks them away. Walks inside the bank and starts to take off his hat. And hold on. My son Doc Ock got a fresh oh God. before pulling up to rob this bank. The other Spider-Man villains cannot relate. Electro could have put gel, water, oil in his hair. But instead he decided to spray oh, water. Probably. Doc Ock starts grabbing as many bags as possible. And this is when Spider-Man swoops in to put a stop to this. This is Zoo York. This is his city. This is New York. He lands and bro got the butters on with a Miri's. Spider-Man is not playing with this today. Doc Ock gets to hating and starts chucking coins at Spider-Man? This man Doc Ock pulled up to a bank to steal quarters, my nigga? He's just yeah. spamming throwing bags at Spider-Man and bro's just chucking up air balls. None of them Damn. are landing. He throws one more at Spider-Man and Spider-Man catches this one with the webs. Press triangle to counter and chucks it right back change. and got bro bouncing into the wall. Looking all types of dazed and silly out here. So Spider-Man keeps ducking his attacks and he goes to web up Doc Ock just to realize his powers are not oh, working. I hate this that. Oh. Oh, shook. I've only been Spider-Man for two years. No way I'm out of my prime. <laughs> I can't be in my Wizard's NJ arc already. Not only was his webs not working, but seemingly his spider senses weren't working <laughs> either. Because homie got the awareness of Stevie Wonder right now. <laughs> he gets beamed right in the face with the bag. Dr. Octopus picks bro up and just starts talking oh, shit straight to his face <laughs> off rip. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man looking at bro, not really taking him serious for real. <laughs> But anywho, <laughs> Doctor Octopus gets tired of the back and forth, so he starts crushing oh, Spider-Man's oh, skull like a grape. Oh. Spider-Man couldn't go out like no bitch, so he starts thinking about Mary Jane. Oh God! 
Oh God! And decides to lock in, getting his powers oh. back, webbing up both tables this. and pulling them together. Doc Ock is able to stop one of the tables, but the other one claws his ass, knocking him right outside the bank. And Spider-Man not letting up. He said, "Oh yeah, I'm on you." Turning into a track star, weave, jump right over that shit. All of Spider-Man's fans are expecting a fight, and that shit got him deep. Oh yeah, y'all saw that? That was fire, right? Oh yeah, I'm like that. Yeah, Doc Ock sees that the police Loki got him cornered, so he knows he has to skedaddle. So he grabs Aunt May as a prisoner and dips out of here catch me if you can doc ox stupid ass yeah. he gave everybody the slip but bro how did spider-man get here so fast right he but we just spawned in out of nowhere right. i started checking the tape to see if maybe i missed something <laughs> doc ox tells spider-man that he's gonna hand over aunt may so peter starts hitting the homeless man's spare change pose you know me man i'm all about the community so i stay blessing them up he hitting their asses with a dap up good luck finding dinner my nigga but doc ox hits spider-man with right. an alley thumbnail straight clickbait just dropping her down instead luckily spider-man was able to catch her with the webs pulling her up and now that this old bitch is saved <laughs> this is when the fight really starts doc ock picks this man up and slams him against the wall twice spider-man getting his back one out pause we yes. sticks him in the face to pull him into this right hook get off me that hole is clean bruh i can imagine being in one of these apartment buildings minding my <laughs> business just trying to listen to this pop smoke album and all this <laughs> bullshit is going on outside <laughs> all is somehow holding but Eddie is awesome. just Using it's this hilarious. Umbrella. She's strong as shit. Thank God she yep. got a new creator with all Hall of Fame badges, I guess. Spider-Man starts climbing up trying to save her, but Doc Ock continues his hating and pulls him back down. Peter tackles his ass and decks him in the forehead, but Doc Ock starts to get on some such shit throwing on those spider cakes. I don't know why he did that. How is this gonna help him in the fight? Spider-Man pulls them both off the building, and I'm thinking, bro, they about to get clapped by fall damage. Luckily, Doc Ock is able to catch back on, and that's when Spider-Man rocks him in the face again. Doc Ock stupidly starts choking spider-man and gets hit with a right hook into a headbutt i know his ass got cte now <laughs> he's gonna be making science experiments like fucking dr doofenshmirtz from now on yes. they continue falling and spider-man knees him in the rib cage i know that hurt pulls mm. his arm back a dumb part and back ends the snot at him that manages to knock them both off the building again and this is where spider-man slams him into the wall i know i said this already but me as an nyc <laughs> resident watching this occur outside my crib is really nuts how do you even explain to your family the next morning what you saw the, the nigga swung, swung his, his body to the <laughs> side i'm not gonna lie i'll get to capping in front of the bad hoes i'm just keeping it a stack yeah. and you know i saw spider-man getting clapped so i Cabin. already had to hop in to save him no me <laughs> stupid oh man this eddie love the eddie man <laughs> Bah, <laughs> Doc Ock is sick and tired of getting oh, slammed, God. so he pushes Spider-Man away, slamming his head into a glass window and throwing him across the street. Got my son Peter Parker hitting the handsome swivel, <laughs> oh, sending God. him crashing through another oh. glass window. The director was trying oh, so God. hard to build up suspense with Aunt May, like, ooh, she might slip and die, when there was a platform beneath her the entire yeah. time. Really, nigga? <laughs> Spider-Man gets up to see Doc Ock holding Aunt May and talking shit again. Hurry up, Peter, before I send her to see a Biggie Smalls concert. Spider-Man uses his big brain, slingshotting himself over there with his webs. But Doc Ock has this weak-ass plan to stab, bro, the second he gets over here. Yep. I'm sitting there watching this movie like, bro, if this really works, I'm gonna be sick to my stomach. <laughs> I know if Peter died to this too, he'd be watching the kill camp thinking to himself, bro, <laughs> how did I let this kill me? Luckily, Aunt May is gangster. Yep. She about that life. Swan so that freaking cane. with her. And she really Run violated freaking face. Hitting him in the face Breaking oh. his Gucci shades Those were mad expensive Gucci shades. She's tweaking Hey, but it works Spider-Man yep. is able to dodge the stab And sticks the landing Doc Ock is like Oh nah, I spent five bands on these You're gonna pay me back no? Oh, I heard you. And chucks her ass off the building. Spider-Man jumps off the building, saving her to make sure that there's not a big-ass Aunt May hole in the ground. And Doc Ock decides that this is the time to dip out. His stamina bar is dumb low. He'll be back for a round two, though. Mm. All right, so before oh. we get into the train fight, we're going to need to go over this scene real quick. So Mary Jane's like, Do you love me or not? And that boy Pete was like, no, not really. <laughs> at this point in the movie, she's raging. I know you see her face. It looks really like that because she's thrown this man 20 alley-oops and he still hasn't scored. Uh, this version of Spider-Man was the, the first that? I've seen. And his game was so astronomically ass, I just assumed that's how he's supposed to be written. Then I watched Spectacular Spider-Man and this man is pulling four in one episode. And I, in I the mean, comments, he's apparently cartoon. a 99 overall. Yeah. But anyways, she's just about done passing bro this ball name. She has one last attempt. And she tells bro, Kiss me. 
And at this point, it's like, all right, bro, what they doing with this? <laughs> they got Mary Jane doing all this shit for him. She grabs bro by the hand with the ring and leans in for the kiss. But Doc Ock is on oh the first flash levels of his. He throws me, Doc Ock. just to make sure that shit does not happen. He gets her out of harm's way. This was of crazy. Of course, he still is Spider-Man. And dodging that car is nothing but light work. But Octavius Maxwell III grabs him and starts pressing him. He was out there straight bullying, bro. He tells him to find his friend Spider-Man or else. And of course, Peter's dumbass hits him with the or else once. So Doc Ock's like, hmm. I bet then. You see your girl over there? I'm gonna turn her into minced meat if you don't bring me Spider-Man. Now get your weak ass out my face. <laughs> Damn. I have me really confused is how he could just throw bro like that. Right. If that was Peter Parker with no powers, he is dying on impact. But yeah, Let's Doc see. Ock snags Mary Jane. And we see that boy come out the rubble angry as shit. He ready to beat his ass. Yep. Spider-Man activates his Hall of Fame chase on artists since Doc Ock been listening to too much Usher and his ass yeah. this is TYB season. Took your bitch. Mary Jane <laughs> be tossing out the silliest neck of all time. Peter knows this is not a girl worth losing, so the get back is absolutely mandatory. He's swinging <laughs> over there with maximum effort, landing on top of this building, and they start talking shit to each other. <laughs> Where is she? I'll never tell you where she is. Come and find out, Peter. Spider-Man like, I. Right, this nigga playing games. I got that bitch find my iPhone tracker anyways. But first, he gets a jump in his ass. Hops off the building, slaps one arm away, kicks two others away. Weave and punches it while blocking it. Dodging it, man. He was dodging awesome it, man. Spider-Man got ultra instinct. He cannot be hit. Hit him with a right into an uppercut. Got Doc Ock leaning back like this is a 2000 <laughs> dance party. Spider-Man's left gets blocked and Doc Ock grabs his right arm. Spider-Man look at him like, Bro, who do you think I am? Jalen Brown? Of course, this man to use his left hand and he really uses all his Damn. attribute points. Got that Kendrick Perkins dribble package. Spider Man said, I only need one hand and gives him a two piece combo. To which Doc Ock slams his ass and throws him off the building, absolutely making sure there's no way he could hold on either. But this must have angered Spider Man or something because he starts acting out of character. I'm talking Krillin being useful type of out of character. As he's falling, he shoots some nut onto Doc Ock's face, giving him that Abella danger treatment. Sticks onto the clock and also sticks onto the hand of the clock, launching that hole all the way up. And this is what I'm saying by acting out of character, because bro, that was a kill shot. Yeah. If that had landed, what was Spider-Man expecting to happen? <laughs> Alright, bro. <laughs> Get up, bro. I know you good, bro. We ain't hurt that bad. Get up. <laughs> Doc Ock throws it back at him, pause, but Peter kicks them both away. To which he just pops him right in the chest. I know that knocked the wind straight out of him. Is that all you got on tickets? Spider-Man shoots his web sticking to Doc Ock, and he gotta have aimbot. Look at bro's face. Even he can't believe he got quick scope from so far. He <laughs> said, if I'm falling, you're falling with me. Come here. We're for a life. Oh, the train they scene, land on top yes. of the roof of the train, and they're just bouncing I up love there. The scene. Everybody in the train terrified. They did not sign up for this. I feel him. I just be trying to get home. Why well, I gotta watch three crackheads think they had a fucking Chris Brown concert? Spider-Man does his unnecessary superhero. Yeah, ending, unnecessary. And now it's really time to hurt somebody. Doc Ock blocks his webs, but that's exactly what Peter wanted so that he could get in closer in order to wipe the bottom of both his shoes on his <laughs> face. See, me personally, I'm not tolerating that type of disrespect. Yeah. I got sensitive skin. That made me break out. Spider-Man went for the three peat though. No Shaq and Kobe. He said, yeah. Weave, weave, yep. weave, yep. Duck. Weave. That was so clean. Yeah. He does another attack, grabs onto the arm to swing off of it, and kicks the shit out of Doc Ock. And look at the way he got back up like a break dancer. When we find out my son Octavius was a Jabberwocky. Grabs Spider-Man by the legs and just chucks him. But that ain't do nothing. My son Peter turned into Flat Stanley and just squeezed right through. Pops out on the other end and tackles his ass into a three-piece combo with two leaves on the side and a left hook. The cameraman is trying his best to keep up, but the train is moving dumb fast. Hey, I feel the conductor. Homie got to get to fifth out by a certain time. People out here got deadlines to meet, and y'all want to be playing karate on top of the train. <laughs> Spider-Man tried to backflip away, but he gets caught and hit with that Patrick Star attack. Damn. I know that hurt. Bro really got 99 agility, though, because look at the way he just finesses out of here to pop out on the other end. And the fight choreographer was really in his bag. They was <laughs> cooking up. They don't do superhero fights like this no more. Come on. Seriously, they don't. The side of a train. It was awesome. Nobody out here doing it like how Toby Spider-Man was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's why yes. Yes. That's why he's the, the goat. The goat. <laughs> they begin to yes. tug of like a pair of toddlers, and then Doc Ock just Ooh. dips out. Peter was low key feeling himself. And I'm him. He like, yeah, yeah. You better run, pussy. But then he's like, hold, hold on. on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something right. Something right. right. <laughs> 
Spider-Man does this theatrical ass landing and now he's just confused because where did bro go? <laughs> he starts looking around the train and gets caught oh. lacking out the window. If I was Spider-Man, I'd look he'd be sick. The people on the train sold me. Bro, can I get a call out, please? Spider-Man gets knocked off the train, but he not giving up that easy. Sticking to buildings, using the momentum to help himself push forward, dodging cars, swinging, running on top of buildings. He doing whatever it takes to catch up. This is a clean recovery. Dr. Octopus saw how Peter was able to save himself and in his head he's thinking damn that was kind of cold so what does he do does what he knows best and gets to hating grabs two random passengers who literally did nothing wrong they're just chilling and tosses them hoping that they get clapped by fall damage but that's really easy peasy lemon squeezy for spider-man that's a simple tuesday afternoon type of saving right there but now doc Ock gets even angrier so he has to up his hating to another level s tier hating actions need to be made damn that's a really nice Lambo. <laughs> oh yeah, you like that Lambo? So why don't you buy it? Oh yeah, you can't, broke ass nigga. Yes. This is when he breaks the handle off the train and leaves Spider-Man to deal with the consequences. You have a train to catch. You keep talking, man. <laughs> and you shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh man. Damn, man. Damn. Ooh, wow. What a way to end it, man. Oh my God. Man, the whole train scene was absolutely amazing, man. To this day, to this day, almost like what, 20 years ago, this movie almost came out, almost 20, because I know it came out in 2004. But yeah, Spider Man 2, man, ooh, man. One of the greatest superhero movies of all time to this day, man. Wow. This is a great recap, man. This is such nostalgia. So. Of course, another Blighton Boy um, W video, man. Seriously, I love the recap, man. Love the commentary, the ending, man. Seriously. After. After seeing this, it's like, damn, this makes me want to see Spider-Man 2 again because it's been so long since I've seen Spider-Man 2. So long. It's been years. And I remember seeing this multiple times in theaters and I freaking still love it. So, whew. That was an awesome recap, man. Another W on Blade Boy. Another W. So, squad, there you have it. That was my reaction to Spider-Man 2's recap from Blade Boy and Code Name Super. So, <laughs> man, man, oh, man. Uh, it's just like, damn, man. Spider-Man 2. When it still is to this day one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. You know, it was personally my favorite Spider-Man movie to this day until Into the Spider-Verse. At that time, you know, across Spider-Verse now beat that. So yes, definitely, definitely, I'm so glad seeing seeing clips of Spider-Man too, you know. Because I you know No Way Home was definitely one of those of my favorite Spider-Man movies, you know, and it's just like dang man. The fact that No Way Home brought back, you know, Tobey Maguire and Alfred Molina back, it's just like wow. They actually freaking did it. Like, after all these leaks, whatnot, when Spider well, no, no Way Home came out two years ago, already two, two um, years ago it came out, everybody just got hyped. I know my audience went crazy when that happened. So, what a moment, what a moment, what a moment. So, Hot Squad, if you enjoyed my reaction to Blade Boys and Courtney Super Spider Man 2 recap, please hit like button, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts. You know, do you think Spider Man 2 is still your favorite Spider Man movie to this day? And what's your, what's your favorite? Spider-Man movie, it was your least best favorite. Well, your least favorite Spider-Man movie. So, Hot Squad, I have one more reaction. Yes, right, I have one more, and that is the Cody and Modern Warfare 3 official reveal. So, we're going to waste no time. In a few minutes, I'm going to be up, rolling, up on reacting to it, excuse me, reacting to the Modern Warfare 3 trailer. So, of course, Hot Squad, stay tuned.